welcome back to my channel i'm sonal and today i'm doing something very interesting for you you know all the times you have these beautiful sarees sitting in your cupboard and you don't know what to do with them and there are so many times that you want to go to a party and you want to wear a dress and you don't have one because you know we never have clothes this video is going to solve all those issues because i'm going to show you five ways of wearing a saree as a dress there are three major styles and two variations so that makes it five and it just solves all your problems because the next time you want to go to a party and you don't have a dress just pick out one of your sarees and use it as a dress so let's get right into it the first style that i'm going to show you is wearing this beautiful chiffon saree as a cocktail dress off shoulder cocktail dress so what you do is bring it in the front from the center and tie a knot in the front make sure that the saree on both the loose ends is of the same length so make sure that the center of your back is exactly the center of your saree now you take the two loose ends and start pleating all the fabric on each side and once you've pleated all that fabric just tuck it in in the front Make sure that when you're tucking in the sari, uh, it covers the knot that you've put in the front because the knot showing doesn't really look very nice. And make sure when you're doing this, there isn't so much wind because it, the wind makes it really difficult to drape this. But yeah, it looks amazing. And you just finish it up with a belt, or you could even do it without the belt. So you know, with a belt, it's a different variation, and without the belt, it. looks classy and amazing nonetheless i love wearing the style uh because it's just like such a perfect complete dress and it's such a beautiful use of the saree the next style that i'm going to show you is to drape this beautiful silk saree into a cowl dress so what you do is find Fold the saree into half and find the exact center. Now, from the center, take about half a meter on both sides and tie it into a knot. Secure the knot properly and put it behind your neck so it forms a nice cowl in the front. What you're going to have is two loose ends which are of the exact same length. So you take one of the ends and start pleating it completely. And take it behind and tuck it in your jeans. So basically you need to be either wearing jeans or leggings or a skirt for this style so that you can tuck in the uh, pleated ends behind do the same on the other side as well now in this style i'm actually uh, pleating the entire edge of the sari so once you've tucked in both the sides at the back make sure it's neat it's always better if you're doing it in front of the mirror because i don't have a mirror it may not be that neat But yeah this is your cowl dress it's a short cowl dress it looks amazing and again you can add a belt and it can be a beautiful little variation You can even wear it on shorts if you don't want the leggings or the pants to be visible and uh, you can either pull the cowl out of the belt or tuck the cowl inside and uh, yeah basically there's just so many ways that you can wear this in and the sari doesn't look like a sari anymore it looks like a beautiful dress you could also wear it with like a short blouse if you want to make the back look sexier and not with a top like i'm wearing or if you want the back covered you could wear it with a top like this the variation that i want to do on this dress is where you pleat the 
I'm also going to show you a variation on this one to make a longer dress like this one's shorter. So what you do is instead of pleating the entire edge, you start pleating from about half a meter from your cowl on the same side. And then just like before you take it behind and tuck it in. What this does is it gives you a longer side. And so you have a dress which flows more and has more length. You could just leave it like this and wear it all flowing and beautiful or you could use a belt to give it more structure. The next style that I'm going to show you is to wear this beautiful chiffon sari as a cape. So you take the shorter ends of the sari and tie it into a knot like I'm doing here and place it on your shoulder. Any of the shoulders is fine and then you bring the entire length of the sari onto the other side and just like you did on this one. Take the, uh, take the short, other shorter end of the sari and tie a knot. Once you've tied the knot, make sure that the knot is really tightly secured and you place the other loop on your shoulder as well. Now bring the entire sari onto the one side and uh, leave about half a meter from your shoulder and start pleating it up. Pleat up all the fabric that you have till it is just half a meter from your other shoulder. You know when it starts tugging tight is when you know you need to stop pleating. Yeah, that's a lot of pleats because it's the entire, almost the entire length of the sari. But trust me, it's totally worth it. Now, once you've pleated the entire length, you just take it behind and tuck it into your pants, your jeans or your leggings, whatever you're wearing underneath. And this is how it looks. It's not very neat here because again, I don't have a mirror. So if you're doing this in front of the mirror, it will be far neater and far prettier looking. Also make sure that there isn't so much wind. So when you're draping these styles, make sure that you don't have the fan on and you're not doing it outdoors like I am. Make sure that you're comfortable and that none of the two, uh, you know, armholes is too tight. And yeah, that's it. That's how it looks. You could either pin it in the front or just use a belt to secure it and make it look like a jacket. Or you could just leave the belt and wear it like an open shrug. I think the back looks beautiful. This is one of my favorite styles because it's super easy to do and it almost is like you have a new cape each time you go out. You could wear it with jeans and a top or on a dress or on a mini skirt with a top. Basically, even on shorts, it looks great. So yeah, it just adds so much variation to your work. Now I'm going to show you a variation on this one, which is to wear it like pants so all you need to do is bring down the knot from your shoulder and tuck it in the front just make sure to cover the buttons of your jeans if you're wearing jeans and make sure that the loop or the cowl on both the sides of your legs is of exactly the same length and yeah that is about it it looks like a beautiful cowl pant and what's amazing is that you can wear a new one each time because I'm sure you have a lot of saris in your closet. So just keep bringing them out and wearing them on jeans or leggings or shorts. And yeah, have a new cowl pant every time you head out. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, do give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell button so that you're notified each time I upload a new video. And keep coming back. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.